welcome back everybody to another day with Simulation for the Nation and another day on the West Coast. I'm just gonna park this drop this trailer here. Uh, we're just gonna park this fed out of the way. Just come back from selling another load of straw off to uh, Harry over on his little dairy farm. Um, it is still too wet today to even entertain the idea of uh, combining any more uh, barley or oilseed rape. So we're gonna park this fent in the shed here. That will do, just nice out of the way. And now we're gonna go and um, jump into our other fent. Now we've put the dual wheels onto the other fent. Uh, it is gonna be doing a lot, most of our cultivation work and predominantly being sat on our drill. Um, the ground is drying off a little bit. We should be able to, I wanna run some, um, kind of get the drill set up working with the cover crops really, just to kind of run the drill in, make sure the calibration's running through properly. Um, but first, the drill is currently up at the, uh, the farmer's yard that, where we actually purchased it from. So uh, it is the same yard where we have some of our um, tenancy land. So we're gonna go and uh, have a drive up, pick it up, and whilst we're there, we're just kind of checking on some of the crops we have up there. Um, so we're going to get on with that whilst we can because there's not a lot else we can do. We're certainly not going to be out in that old girl anytime soon. So the combine's going to have to stay where it is. Um, as you can see, I have dual wheels on here so we are a little bit wider today. Uh, so we're going to have to take a little bit of extra care on these roads. Uh, I'm sure we all know by the stage just how crazy these pedestrians are, or these motorists are, sorry. So it's, uh, it could be interesting. But I do like a challenge. So we're going to head on up and we're going to get the drill. We'll start by probably drilling this little field here. Uh, it just enables me to make sure that, like I said, everything's working with the calibration and it's all up to scratch. And then uh, we've got one, one, the, one and a half more loads of barley straw to clear from the field we were in the other day. Uh, once that's done, we can bring the, uh, the drill into there and we'll get some of next year's crops planted. Which would be nice. Let's just start by giving these cars a wide berth. Lovely stuff. And there's another one. So to give you an idea, we're we're quite large. Uh, we're we'll taking we're quite dominating really. So we need to be a little bit careful here. I uh, do try and stay over the road as much as possible, and then allow myself time to nip over the road. But watch out for that traffic cone. Going through the little town of Riverton by the sea here could be interesting, but unfortunately it's uh, the quickest route we have. So we'll just have to take our time and make sure we're, we're patient here, we should be okay. Cross over the bridge. Perfect. Ooh, get on the road. I do like having dual wheels on the tractor, there's something nice about this. Just a nice indication that we're in a good time of year. Harvest is coming in and we're able to get some more crops into the ground, that's always very nice. Ooh, we're gonna get stuck here, we might just stop here and wait. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, yes! And around this corner... Lovely stuff. So I hope you're all very well, guys. I hope you are having a great day, whatever you're doing, whenever you're watching this. We'll pull over that. Uh, I have been full of busy here, so uh, both on the West Coast, Colborough, and also in my other job. So it makes things a little bit difficult to keep on top of everything, but we are doing our very best. Um, and we will keep you up to date with everything that's happening. Now, this is one of my fields here. This is our barley. We're going to have to have a look into that because there might be an opportunity for us to come up here sooner rather than to get up with some harvest rather than staying down where we are in the field of rape. Uh, the, I'd like to get that oil seed rape in first. Uh, it might not be possible though, so we'll have to have a look see. Um, but yeah, looking like it might be able to get on here. We have another large block of canola up here I'd like to hit very soon. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to come up here. Nothing's going to be ready today. Uh, based off of the amount of rain we had yesterday, we're going to be suffering for a, a day or two yet. So we just have to keep an eye on it, but yeah, we know that it's not going to be today. Now, the drill was parked there, so it's been moved. Uh, where it's been moved, I'm not sure. Let's go and have a wonder, see if we can find this thing. 
So this farm is no longer really in practice anymore. It was an old gentleman who was operating the farm. Um, a mixed farm, arable and uh, livestock. Uh, so you can see it's quite a large setup here. Oh, speaking of uh, setups, there it is. There is my new drill. Uh, so he just tucked it around the corner out of the way, which is very nice of him. Um, so this is the 6 metre Vader stack. Uh, sufficiently big enough for the amount of ground we've got. Um, it is going to be a, allow us to get through everything very quickly, which is fantastic. Uh, and still uh, well within the power range that we need for our machinery here. So we're not going to have any issues trying to pull it. Uh, we have some land on some uh, varying terrain, so we don't want to put ourselves in a position where we can't pull anything up a hill. Uh, in addition to that, this is also my plow. Uh, I did buy this as well, just haven't moved it because I didn't really feel the need to and it's tucked out the way here at the moment, so I'm not going to change that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it was a nice size yard really. Uh, lots happening, lots of fields around here. Um, there's still a lot of seed left, I wonder if I could buy that off him. Uh, try and get a better deal. We'll have a, just a walk back up. Now if we cross over the road here, uh, we have one of our fields of canola waiting to be harvested. It was desiccated about uh, about a week ago. Uh, not No, maybe about 10, 12 days ago now. So it's more than ready to be lifted. Uh, we're just sitting waiting for the weather really. As we have a walk through here, again it's a little bit patchy at the entrance, but that's, we can live with that. Um, right now it doesn't, it's looking alright, if you, as you look at the pods here, they're not too white, which is what we want to see. If we see the white of the inside of the pods, that's bad news, because it means the pods have opened up, and there's a slim chance that any of the, um, the seeds have actually fallen out onto the ground, which is pretty disastrous if we start to see that. Um, but that looks okay, we'll probably try and harvest the field we've, we've moved ahead of trailer into. And then we'll bring the combine up here, and we'll, it can just be. I'm going to try and see if I'll uh, speak to the uh, owner of the yard and see if we can have. Um, see if we can just leave my combine up here till we're ready to go, because it, I don't want to keep having to move it. But speaking of moving, we're just going to go and hook up to this seed drill. Uh, I hope I can get in here with my jewels on, because I ain't taking them off. Any room. Look at that. Okay, so with that fully connected, we're just gonna creep out the shed. And we're going to take the route we went, we came up through, we're just going to squeak through the town quickly. Head back up to the yard, fill up with uh, some seeds, we'll get this cover crop planted and we'll see how we're looking from there. Very tidy looking drill. I like the way it's compact and folds up nicely, well within the uh, within three meters work, uh, travel width. We'll just let that car go. Away! Go, go, go! In we go. So just to give you uh, guys an insight, in the next few days I'm hoping to get around to making another uh, mod review that I've I've put a couple out there, they've been received quite well. Um, this one I believe is going to be a little bit different, it's not going to be like a categorical uh, review, so I'm not going to go through like the top fives of something, I'm just going to do a bit of a catch up on what we've seen at the moment, there's been some fantastic work coming out of late, so we might skim through some of those. Uh, and I fancy we're going to have a trip back to... Uh, Back to Culver very shortly as well, just to keep up to date with what we have on the go there. Oh, get off the road, get off the road, get off the road. Yes, that's all we did. And put some lights on. Uh oh, this one could be tough. 
Oof, I may have just taken the win there. So I am almost happy to report that our livestock number has increased by a whole two new sheep. Um, I've invested a little bit of our harvest revenue, uh, a full $6,000, which seems astronomical for sheep, but uh, £6,000, beg your pardon, even more. Um, so I have yeah, put two new ewes onto the, uh, into the farm, uh, so we're now, at, with the reproduction, we are now at a full 20, which seems, uh, like, seems like progress, I'm going to say. Um, Slow you down. So hopefully that number keeps on progressing. We're about to finish our first pallet of wool, so we're going to put that into storage until we get uh, sufficient uh, pallets to actually take away. Um, so yeah, we are we are increasing and we are developing, which is great news. Really happy about that. So that field looks very wet still. It may be a bit sticky, but we're going to jump in and give it a go. I'm determined to make some progress and not be beaten by the, the miserable conditions we've had. And there's nothing more depressing than having the, a combine out, ready to go and not being able to use it. Especially a shiny new one. Well, hopefully the seed is all in there and I really hope I don't I haven't blocked myself in. That would be a bit frustrating. Hmm. A male. Yeah. I have stopped. I royally blocked myself in here. I did not think that through. However, I know what will fit into there. I'm just going to pull into here for now and park us up. So, I'm going to get my telehandler. The little Merlot will fit into that. I have every confidence. I will come back to you once we have some seed in the back of my seed drop. I'll come back right back and I'll catch up with you later. Well, it isn't pretty, everybody, but we managed to do it. Let's take a little bit of engineering. Uh, and we've, we, have a full, um, we have a full seed tank, so I'm happy. That's all that I'm concerned about. Um, so now, pop around here, there we go, so let's go and get some uh, cover crops established. So if I can get away from the edge here, perfect. So we'll go and plant up this cover crop. I uh, shouldn't take too long to do. And so it'll be officially the first seeding on the west coast for me, which is very exciting. Beat things off. Okay, so what we'll do, we're going to do, because there's a cover crop here, I'm not too worried about disturbing anything when I run over it on the headlands. So we're going to go take a couple of passes with the headlands and then we'll get the rest of this wrapped up. Shouldn't take too long at all. And away we go. more speed up. Speed is the key with sewing, particularly when you've got a good drill like a Vader, Sp with Vader stab, even. Speed is definitely the key. So 
It is a little bit bumpy on this headland here, but I'm hoping that that's going to uh, settle itself out. But right now we are making some good progress. Uh, I'm just going to take these two headlands off first, and then yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll plow up and down the middle here and get it done nice and quickly. Uh, it shouldn't take too long at all. Uh, like I say, so we are planting a cover crop here. In this field, we'll, it's a kind of an oil radish, uh, vetch, and oat mix, really. The reason we're planting this is that it allows for multiple things. Um, this field is in some particularly clay soil, which means that it, it has uh, quite poor drainage. Um, so the water just runs straight off the top there and like bogs down in the bottom corner there. So what we do about that to kind of combat this is we the horseradish and the, uh, have a very uh, very sl long thin roots and they dig down into the clay really and by doing that it allows them to kind of break up the the um, the thicker clay. Um, the vetch and the spring oats um, are in there as the uh, they're great nitrogen fixers. So they it's effectively like bringing in some uh, a, a top dressing of fit nitrogen. Um, so, but without the without the chemical uh, impact, really. So it, it's a great natural stabilizer of nitrogen in the soil. Uh, they will have small flowers on them, so if there are any insects around between now and the end of autumn, they'll be able to uh, benefit greatly from this. So we are going to um, we're going to plant this in. We're probably going to leave it. It's, it'll establish very quickly, particularly if we continue to get rain and then um, sunshine and more rain. It should establish and be out of the ground very quickly. Once it is, then we're in a great place to be able to uh, leave it for about six weeks. And then we'll come in and we'll drill some, uh, we'll probably put some barley in after that. I need to double check with my um, crop rotation. But I think we'll be putting barley into here and then we'll see how it looks after that. So, uh, with that in mind, right now I'm going to just continue here and I'm going to um, speed this up for you and uh, let you watch it. It's going to be a little bit slow otherwise. And I'll
finally, we're kicking up a little bit of dust. Uh, no one really seen that coming. Uh, there's a little bit of moisture just on the uh, on the bottom there, but as we rake over the top here, it's kind of dried out a little bit, so it is starting to throw up just a little touch of dust, uh, which is good. I suppose it's not gonna be, it's not too wet. It's a little sticky in places. Uh, it's clagging up the uh, the wheels a little bit on the back of the drill, but nothing that we can't handle here. We're about just to wrap this up now, anyway. So we'll just a few more of the ends to go, and then we'll be good to get out of here. And so this will just be left as I was mentioned. We're not going to put any additional um, pesticides, herbicides onto here. We're just going to leave it. Um, so it'll be nice to see what kind of crop we get out of here, and, and the benefits for the drainage really, and the compaction on the land. Um, so yeah, it's going to be nice to get this all done. I'm going to tidy up this bottom end here a little bit. Get ourselves up to the top. The drill is being pulled and handled very nicely by the Fentier. Uh, some places the ride here with the dual wheels on isn't very fun. It's a little bit bumpy. Um, I'm not sure. I'm half debating whether or not if we get any more hard land that we need to just go on to. If we just put the take the jewels off and put the flat, like slightly wider regular tyres on, that could help proceedings a little bit. But again, this is something I can look into and assess. Little struts. Oh. Uh, just like that, we're good to go. Good go. Lovely job. Okay, so at this stage we are going to call it a day as far as the video is concerned. It's getting late in the evening, well early evening anyway, uh, there's not a lot more we can do truth be told. Uh, we're just kind of waiting and waiting to see how this weather is going to pan out tonight and tomorrow. All being well, uh, we're going to start, jump back into the combine tomorrow and crack on. Uh, I really don't want to lose too much more time, I want to get ahead of the curve here and not be stuck waiting for reasonable weather. So we will. I will keep you abreast of any updates there. Let's on this corner. Oop, squeeze through. And now we're just gonna pop it. Pop this into the shed behind the other fence. Whose lights are still on? Perfect. So we'll switch that off. Guess we have to jump into here now and turn these lights back off. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for watching this episode once again. Uh, please, if you have enjoyed this, please remember to um, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button as always. And do leave, uh, feel free to leave any comments you may have down below. I'll be sure to do my best to respond to them. Until next time. Uh, you have been watching Simulation for the Nation. I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay safe in whatever you're doing. Until we see you again, happy farming.